workouts, uh, about another aspect. We talk about muscle, we talk about nutrition. Listen to this aspect of it. Now, we all know about what the judges want to see. The muscularity, symmetry, body proportion, the physical end of being a bodybuilder. We also have the cosmetic side of it, and that includes skin tone, uh, lack of blemishes, uh, bodybuilders should not have too big of tattoos if you get a tattoo, but also you want to be tanned. Sun tanning is important and important for everybody. Uh, Hispanics, blacks, everybody should be nice and tanned. And when you don't have the sun, we resort to what we call the sun tanning beds or tanning booths. And this is an example right here. This man's tanning just before going on stage. So, uh, Nothing should be left to chance in bodybuilding. <laughs> in talking about nothing left to chance, this man is sunning his armpits. And I guess that's uh, traditional. You must do it, Chris. Oh, yeah. It's very important because when you hit that double arm shot on stage, you've got a white spot, two white spots there. It looks lousy. All right. Back to the competition. And uh, this is the middleweight. Now, up to 176 pounds, folks. They look bigger. This guy is Graham Lansfield. And uh, he's been around. He was in seventh a year ago from Australia. What's interesting, he was in the light heavyweight class a year ago. And he's dropped down now. Is that uh, That's sometimes thing? a good idea because by dropping down, he's more muscular, more defined. And because, and as a result, curiously enough, he looks bigger than he did last year, although he's at a lighter body weight. It's a real deception. So, uh, you like what you see thus far? Very good, very good. It's not a real mature look, but it's mature enough. He's a little bit tall. He could be a little bit thicker, not to pick on him. Very good. Chris, uh, is there a slight awkwardness there? Is it just me, but is there an awkwardness as far as he his posing? He doesn't move as well as some of the others, Irv. It's true. Uh, he shakes a little bit. There's too much movement. When you hit a pose, you should hit it so that the judges see it. Let them know, ha-ha, there's the pose. If I keep moving, the judge is a little bit frustrated. Are the judges talking uh, throughout, or do they just do their own thing? No, you're not allowed to. In fact, there's use a bit of a space between the judges. There should be no conference at all. All right, uh, from Belgium, Erwin Noti. He's got his own style, this is Erwin Noti. He is really personal. I had a chance to, to watch him in the workout room. Very, very personal guy. He was second last year, runner-up to Charles Glass from uh, the U.S. Very good. Now, he's doing something that you fall into a trap, Herb. If you're not careful, his music selection is making him move. He's almost dancing. And here again, the music should not serve... You should not serve the music. The music should serve you. There's a little bit too much movement. Very, very good point. See, he's too much shaking. He's not a dancer. He's a bodybuilder. He's an athlete up there. Shapely, I guess that's very, very important. Yes. He's got good shape. Needs just more muscle. If I could criticize him, just more muscle. All right. So that's Nelly. Let's take a look at El Shahat Abrok from Egypt. Got a good physique. I tell you that right off the top. A lot of muscle there. Oh, this posing style is a little unorthodox, isn't it? Yeah. We'll see if he changes his dynamics some, if he can just continue this way. Some of that is all right. What about the coaching in Egypt? What do you know about it? Ah, uh, they're a little behind coaching-wise. There's a lot of raw talent in Egypt and Saudi Arabia and those countries. A lot of raw talent. They just need more coaching. Very important. You know, this is the second Egyptian that we've seen in the final, so uh, apparently... Yep. Getting it together. Yep. It's uh, very popular there. They don't have as many, but the few they have are very impressive. What about the trunks now? A little loose the back? A little bit. Top. I wouldn't pick yellow. Yellow's a weak color. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. El Shahat Madrov from Egypt. We've seen Nodi from Belgium, from Lansfield from Australia. This is the middleweight competition. You get a look at the calves. Up to 176 pounds. Calves are noticeably weak on here. Crowd likes him. He's a crowd favorite. It's been that way for the two days. What are your thoughts when you're posing like this? 
Are you nervous? I am this so year? much into my routine, Irv, that I'm not really thinking. Uh, I'm sort of giving it to the audience. But this man seems like he's almost winging it. I get the feeling that he does know quite what's coming next. He's just going to see if this is good, if this is good. The judges can tell. It doesn't seem too thought out. He moves well. I'll give him that. It is a little unorthodox, but uh, would you say the best is ahead for him, too? Yeah, if he changes his style, some bodybuilders, unfortunately, go on doing the same wrong thing year after year after year. So, uh, from Egypt, we have watched the rope. This is Irving Noller from Germany. Stuff. Yeah, Still very deliberate. There. I'll tell you what, he is complete. He, everything but the back, as far if I'm great, and once again, what do I know about it? <laughs> oh, you know a lot, or if you got a good eye. <laughs> uh, he's, he's complete, isn't he? Very complete. I like him. Irving Noller from Germany. You notice when he hits a pose, you can see it. It's definite. He stops. Then he goes to the next one. It's all like a staccato style. When he hits it, that's it. You know that's the pose. Pretty good. Now, the crowd likes his music. You know, it's it, looking around, it's a younger crowd. Does the music influence the judges because the crowd is influenced? Oh, very much. And it's very American music, if you notice. It's all American selections. When you, of course, you've been to Europe, it's all American music that you hear there, and that's what they're playing with. Them. They want to be with them. Very nice. All right, I'll tell you, we talked to Will Sylvester earlier. He's been doing a long time. How about a guy who's only been doing it two years? Listen to this one. So in Mr. New Jersey, Mr. East Coast, Eastern America, Mr. Mr. America, America, and now Universe. Mr. Universe. You don't want much, do you, John? <laughs> I want it all. You want it all. That's right. <laughs> well, I think that's fantastic. How did you train for this? I mean, so much is happening so fast. What do you and what do you attribute all of this success to? I learned how to listen to my body. I learned how to train properly, slowly, intensely, and I put my mind into the muscle. I really concentrate now. How long have you been really serious about bodybuilding? How about two years? Super about serious. Only two, two years? years? Yeah, I've been fooling around with weights for about five years, but the last two years I really got down to it. I love it. It's great. It's, it's a wonderful sport, sport, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's mind-blowing. It really is what you've done in such a short period of time, John. Good luck today. Thank you, Chris. I don't think you're going to need it, though, somehow. I need all the luck I can get. <laughs> I could use it. Thank I you. I don't think I'd uh, like to be a robber in New Jersey and have Matashek chase me. I watched him today. Chris, he is so far superior, in my opinion, except for the pecs. His pecs are flat. Now, isn't that just maturity? Yeah. In about a year, two years, he'll have it. Just takes longer. He's very, very, very complete. This man does not weigh a lot. But look, he gets so much mileage out of his body. Good choice of music, body shot. Ah, why not? John Nattishak. Good posing style, variety of motions. Judges like that, an ailing, standing side shot. Mixing it up, he's mixing the routine up. Twisting back pose. Hard on the legs all the time. Controlling the abdominal there. Right. As he mentioned that he's only been lifting for two years. A man can do that with his body is this mainly heredity. Remember we talking about picking the right parents? Matashek did, huh? That's what he did. Started off right. That's an amazing pose right there. You do not see a weakness there at all. The only no. front pose, you see the pecs. They're flat, but other than that, this guy is, he's so far ahead of, uh, of the rest of the field, in my opinion. He's very sharp, sharp. Muscular pose. Flexing the legs, hard, everything. He's competing against Noller from Germany, Abro from Egypt, Nodi from Belgium, Lansfield from Australia. One other one in the finals that will pick up. Matashek, the crowd likes him. Says, I'll go off the other side. That is work. He's exhausted. It's got to be. All right. Competitor coming up now from Japan. And this is uh, Koyami. The crowd liked him very much. Once again, it seems to really help if you're personable and have that charisma. Absolutely, Herb. Uh, some have it, some have it. You can develop it. 
a lot of that is just really being honestly prepared. Or if you know your routine to the music, you're gonna exude the confidence because you're prepared. You cannot do that if you're not. I'll tell you what, the crowd is not gonna understand if, uh, if Koyami does not finish high because it's kind of elevated here. They see only the upper body, which is tremendous, but his thighs are not comparable to the, to the upper body. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens yes. if he doesn't finish high, the crowd will go wild. Look at that it's upper uneven. body. It is uneven, his upper body is tremendous. And it just doesn't keep pace with, uh, with the thighs. Muscular crab shot. Koyami, this is our middleweight competition. The winner last year was Glass. Now, Noti from Belgium was second. Noler from Germany was third. And Madra from Egypt was fourth. So who's going to win this one? As we get a look at uh, who is at Caesar's Palace, and he was our uh, Grand Marshal, David Copperfield, we're talking about. We're going to come back with the results of the competition. We're at Las Vegas. Stick with us. All the action on ESPN down to pick the middleweight champion here, Mr. Universe. Let's take a look at the compulsories. The first of the compulsors you're going to see is the what we call the double arm front pose, bicep pose. Although they're looking at the bicep, actually they're looking at the whole physique. It's very important that you flex your legs every part of your body. We mentioned at the top of the show you might want to grade along with us and see if you think it's going to be Koyami, not a shack. Roller. Front lat spread coming up. Boy, there's a little difference there. Did you see the difference with Natashek? Mm. Yes. All right, this is the side. Can you pick any side, either side? Uh, sometimes you have to pick the side they ask for. But here, it's your best. We all have a good and less good side, so it's up to the competitor in this case. You mentioned side that. Uh, in other words, like you feel that you're stronger uh, right or left? Depends. You, so. My right tricep and my left chest. <laughs> Funny that way, isn't it? But that's the body. Back double arm, showing the musculature in the back. I think this is where you, this where you find out who has been coached, don't you? This yes, pose. absolutely. The poise, you hit the pose so the judges can see. Very important. What's your most embarrassing moment in bodybuilding? Did you ever slip? Oh, wow, that's a good question. Hmm, my most embarrassing moment. I never lost my trunks. Happy to say that. Well, you're ahead of the game. <laughs> We're at Caesar's it, Palace, and we've got the big crowd. Full house. Here comes the side tricep pose. The back of the arm, bicep the front, tricep the back. Here we go. Thank you. Six in the finals. We're going for a winner. You saw the lightweight competition. Sylvester won that. Here's the pose down. Muscular pose. Flexing the legs, front thigh muscles, hitting the abdominals really hard. Muscularity is all that counts here. No place for that in this contest. Get those ripples. That's amazing. How you keep your abdominals in good shape. Oh, yeah. And here's you have to control that hip flexion as well. All right, here's where they really upstage each other. This is my favorite portion. Look at that. They're trying to ace the one guy. The man from Egypt <laughs> is going crazy here. Here's John. I need room to breathe. Man, Give me a break. Very different style, some of them. Moving around, trying to get the limelight. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> well, that's the name of the game. Yeah, they're a little slick. They got a little too much oil on, don't they, Chris? Well, it looks that way. Sometimes the camera picks it up. But you can't, better too little than too much. So it actually will smooth your appearance out. It takes away from the muscularity. I say John has it on just perfectly. It's amazing. Only two years serious about the weights. Mm. He's the most finished physique up there now. And see, he doesn't have the pecs, say, of a Noli, but that will just come with maturity. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Let me ask you this question. Uh, do a lot of bodybuilders play football in high school? Some do. Bodybuilders often don't come from another sport. Now, I, my game was soccer. I was the first string soccer man in high school. That's interesting. All right, they've, uh, they've finished. Now it's, it's in the hands of the judges. 
And this is a tremendous moment right now as they wait. So who's going to win it? The middleweight competition. It's on the line here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll come back. We'll find out the winner the same as you right after this message from ESPN. The best six athletes in the middleweight. Well, we're talking about up to 176 pounds, Chris. What's going through your mind if you're involved in competition like this and you're waiting for the decision? Honestly, Irv, you're so busy thinking about what you have to do and executing it well, and you're trying to let the judges at least think you're having a good time. In sixth place, from Belgium, Irving Note. Well, Note uh, was second a year yes, ago. Yes, he's dropped down, or if he's uh, just lacking in size and density. All right, let's see what we've got next. In fifth place, and also receiving the trophy, the Silver Jubilee Trophy, from Japan, Yasushi Koyama. I knew this was going to happen, Chris, because yeah. they could not see the legs versus the upper body just because of the way the seats are set here it's true they're looking up the audience is but the judges are right on here he's got a great upper body he's got bad thighs all right we're looking for four in fourth place from egypt el sahad mabrook well this reminds me when i officiated basketball lots uh, of booze <laughs> lots of booze everyone's unhappy i would have had him maybe third but no more than third. Got exceptional pecs and delts. Uh, yeah. I did not like the way he posed with no. the back. In third place, receiving the trophy as well as the bronze medal of these championships from Germany, Erwin Knoller. Well, he didn't like that pick. He was 30 years ago in the yeah. middleweight class. Repeat performance. Well, at least it didn't drop down. Come back next year. He's got a little loose skin in the abdomen. And I really believe that probably hurt him. Lower back is very weak. If he's notice when he turns around. Whoops, they won't show. In second place, winning this silver medal. From <laughs> Australia, Graham Lansfield. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. He what a dramatic finish. <laughs> Last year was seventh as a light heavyweight, Chris. He drops down to the middleweight class, and he ends up second. There's our champ, though. Yep. We'll listen to these. The medal videos. is awarded through Joe Weider. And here's our middleweight bodybuilding champion, Mr. Universe 1984, John Natishat, USA. This is when you pinch yourself to say, is it true? Did it happen? Is it true, particularly after only really working at it for two years and now to receive the ultimate? Incredible performance. What a year. 84 has been kind to John. Look at the close-up of the abdomen right there. That's the contest. That's it. John Natashek was so far superior, except, as we pointed out a few times, the pecs, and that will, will come with maturity. Chris, uh, the old uh, adage that uh, fat turns to muscle, that's not necessarily true, is it? No, no, you don't hear that anymore. They're, they are different tissues they never meet. We've had a lot of myths to overcome bodybuilders, and finally we're doing it with more coverage like this and more understanding of the sport. This is the moment for John Natashek. This is the culmination. Two years of hard work. He is the winner. He is number one. Graham Lansfield from Australia, finishes second. Uh, Irving Noller from Germany, disappointed, but he finished third. Middleweights in the world. What a moment. 1984. The fourth spot goes to Shahad Mabrok from Egypt. Miami finished fifth. He's from Japan, and the sixth spot to Nodi from Belgium. You know, it's interesting, Europe. John was telling me how he died. You know, he ate a lot of carbohydrates. He didn't do it with protein. It's good for the brain, too. And Absolutely. A me, high carbohydrate diet. Chris, let me ask you your thoughts on moving down. And we had Lancefield move down Thank uh, you. from a light heavy to uh, the middleweight. And it paid off this time. Hand. Right. I would do that. I would drop down in weight unless I was sure I could carry that added muscle and be cut. 
but be cut, be defined, be hard. That's look at this man. He's a winner. That's what he did. So one final look. There's a very happy guy from New Jersey, a police officer. Ben Weeder, Joe Weeder. A couple of guys who were very, very important. Here's a look at Joe. Very important to the sport of bodybuilding. I'm really impressed also with the sportsmanship. You don't get animosity. People are disappointed. Only one man's really, really happy, and that's the winner. But everybody's there smiling, happy with what they did, seemingly, anyway. We want to talk to John as he leaves the stage, and I'll ask you to, to grab him, Chris. Can we get a few uh, extra poses, flexes? What the novices always call them? <laughs> Flex your muscles. <laughs> and there Make he a muscle, is. right? <laughs> Fix up his hardware, and Chris, you. if you'll jump up, uh, as Thank he's you. off, we'll talk to John and have a show. Mr. Universe, has it dawned on you yet? No, no. You're Mr. Week, Universe, John. Last week, it still Thank hasn't you. hit me. You're Mr. Universe. I can't believe it. Congratulations, Thank Mr. You. Universe. I can't believe it. Keep repeating it. Oh, man, I'm going to repeat it for the next, till the day I die. I Great. Die. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. What a moment. As they parade out. Well, I'll tell you what, you want to stick with us because that's right. Light heavyweights. Who's it going to be? The U.S. win one. 